Hi, welcome to the Advantech YouTube channel. My name is Corey Leonard. I'm a product manager here at Advantech, and we're here to talk to you today about our newest product, the AFE R360, a robotics optimized single board computer. The AFE R360 is designed specifically for robotics applications, and I'll go ahead and walk you through some of the features that really make it ideal for those scenarios. So, of course, our input is important. So this is a 12 to 24 volt DC input product. So this has range for a number of different battery options. So either 12 or 24 volt or uh, in between inside of your robot, whichever you may use. And of course, this also has tolerance to account for some abnormal conditions within that power environment. Additionally, for robotics, if you're going to be using this in that type of application, you're definitely going to want the native CAN bus interfaces on here. So uh, you can actually directly wire motor control and run that natively off of this board. Uh, beyond that, for AI applications or for uh, any type of sensor or data fusion, uh, the newest Meteor Lake processors build in an NPU natively on board. So uh, that's about 13 tops of AI performance. And so in a very power efficient way that allows you to do a lot of uh, basic inferencing tasks natively on the board without needing uh, additional ad dedicated GPU or accelerator module. For robotics, uh, one of the key features that you'll also see is this uh, expansion interface here. So this is actually to allow us to plug in either our MIPI or GMSL daughter board to this. So we can directly take in camera input, we can do the digital signal processing, uh, we can also do some SLAM, some object detection and collision avoidance uh, algorithms on this board natively as well. Lastly, for robotic connectivity, we do have uh, M.2 B key 3042 or 3052 here. So that would allow you to plug in uh, an LTE or 5G module. Uh, so either connection to uh, one, any of the major carriers or also for uh, private 5G or networks that are also becoming more popular nowadays. Beyond that, you also do have an M.2 E key 2230 for a Wi-Fi interface as well. So uh, Advantech can also provide Wi-Fi 6E and Wi-Fi 7 solutions to plug into here natively bundled with the board. And coming back to the top, uh, for additional connectivity, we do have triple two and a half gigabit ethernet on here. to allow you to do high speed machine to machine communication, or if you have other devices uh, or other SBCs within your robot that are also doing some different processing, they can share information in a very high speed manner across those interfaces. We also do have a Thunderbolt 4 interface. So uh, assuming that maybe this NPU is not powerful enough specifically for the processing that your application requires, you can actually plug in uh, an accelerator module into here. So we support MXM GPUs, uh, but you can also plug in an FPGA there, or you can even use it for high-speed uh, camera interfaces or for high-speed networking or high-speed storage as well. So that's a 40 gigabit per second port. So. Uh, very capable. And for additional connectivity, the AFE R360 also offers two USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 Type-C ports. Uh, so each of those are 20 gigabit per second. So uh, offering high speed for connection to cameras or any other type of high speed peripherals. We also do have two classic USB Type-A ports. So uh, while those are also USB 3 and great for camera inputs, they can also be used for other more uh, low speed or legacy devices as well. So you're probably wondering what kind of software we can run on this platform. So of course, being based on the latest 14th generation Meteor Lake processors from Intel, uh, this is compatible out of the box with Microsoft Windows 11 IoT LTSC. Uh, so Windows 11 IoT LTSC has a lot of really great features for uh, this kind of market or for this kind of use case. So the most important one is that you're not going to be uh, getting a lot of feature updates. So the platform is going to be really stable for uh, products that you don't want constantly changing. Second is, of course, 10 years of uh, availability. So Microsoft will continue to support and update the, the platform for at least the next 10 years from release. Another great feature with Windows 11 LTSC is the slim packages. Slim packages allow you to really optimize your software configuration to match the hardware that you've selected. So in cases where you may not have the most available RAM or you have limited amount of storage, you can tune the operating system to meet uh, your needs rather than the other way around. Lastly, Advantech is a Microsoft Gold partner and an authorized distributor of Windows 11 LTSE. So if you're interested in learning more, go ahead and check out the link in the description to get connected with the subject matter expert and to start building your solution.
Thanks for stopping by the Advanced Tech YouTube channel today, and hopefully you learned something cool. Uh, to learn more about our AFE R360 and many other great Advanced Tech solutions, go ahead and click the link in the description below. Don't forget to get subscribed and click that bell icon to learn more about Advanced Tech. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you soon.